Gaza's Shanti refugee camp, a hand out is the only hand they get. The United Nations is distributing the regular food rations. A bag of flour, some rice, sugar and cooking oil. Life in Gaza, says Rahma, has come to a virtual standstill. There's no work, she tells me. The workers can't go to Israel. There's nothing for anyone to do. But pick up their food and go home. Men who should be working wait their turn. Unemployment in Gaza is close to 50 percent. The signs of a humanitarian crisis in Gaza are no more apparent than here. According to the United Nations, 80 percent of the population of Gaza is dependent on food aid. The three-year-old Israeli blockade imposed after Hamas took over Gaza has devastated the economy. The people of Gaza, says economist Sami Abdeshefi, have become hostages of a failed policy. You can't pull the plug on a nation, uh, put it in a prison, and then uh, force it to become a nation of beggars, and then provide it with food. During the Israeli invasion last year, the Israeli army bulldozed Mohammed Dardona's house. He built a new home next to the ruins of the old. But he's lucky. He has a job. His salary doesn't go far, however. Everyone has an unemployed brother or father, he says. You give a bit here, a bit there, and after a few days, nothing's left. Faiza is trying to raise her six children, but she has diabetes, lost her job three months ago, and her husband has left her. She feeds her family with UN rations, charity, and food bought on credit. I get credit from the greengrocer, from other stores, she says. My whole life is credit, credit. Escape from Gaza is, for most, not an option. Egypt, which is hostile to the Hamas-led government, has temporarily opened the border for people with special permission. Permission Fauzia doesn't have. Her husband suffered a stroke and is in an Egyptian hospital. She wants to see him, but has been unable to cross since the morning. It would be the first time I ever leave, she says. In Gaza, false hope is better than no hope at all, says the UN's Adnan Abu Hasna. Sometimes people, they are telling us, we need someone to lie to us, to tell us a big lie that after 10 years, you will have a good life. You will have a state, you will have, you know, you will have a job. No one can promise the people, actually in Gaza there is no tomorrow. And the substitute for hope here is a sack of flour. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Gaza.